Imagine sitting in a moonlit lawn with the night sky above you scattered with twinkling stars and refreshing cool breeze whipping at you as you hear these beautiful lines from the popular Marathi song Shukra tara mandavara sandane paanyatuni chandra aahe swapna vaahe dhundaya gaanyatuni This beautiful lines paint a picture of how it is to be under the presence of Venus the evening star a soft cool breeze and the reflection of moonlight in water this song puts one in a dream like trance as a kid this is how i was introduced to astronomy it is not only found in scientific or factual books but also in songs and mythological stories we all have heard a lot of stories growing up most of these stories talk about the celestial bodies like the sun the moon the planets and the constellations what we usually wave off as a fiction does have an ounce of astronomical truth hidden in them encoded as a story by our ancestors we might have heard the story of the demon rahu and ketu in hindu mythology rahu and ketu are said to eat up the sun and the moon when they come close to this demon this story is based on the most common yet interesting phenomenon in the sky which is eclipse here as we can see that the moon disk is obscuring the sun disk and a solar eclipse is taking place at this instance the moon is covering the central part of the sun disk and the boundary of sun disk is visible like a ring it is referred to as diamond ring eclipse its astronomical name is annular solar eclipse it is an event worth observing and experiencing the plane in which the earth revolves around the sun is represented by the blue ellipse and the plane of the revolution of the moon is represented by the pink ellipse both of them are inclined with respect to each other and they intersect at two distinct points one of them is rahu and the other is ketu an eclipse can occur only when the moon comes close to this de- intersection points while orbiting the earth and hence the mythical story includes that an eclipse occurs when the moon comes close to this demon or rather intersection points and disappears temporarily i remember at the age of 13 i got my first telescope and that was the beginning of my journey as a budding amateur astronomer after some starting trouble loads of practice several attempts and failures i could finally locate and observe the moon for the first time through my telescope i had been observing the moon all my life but that experience that view through my telescope with defined craters the dust and the terrain of the moon it took me to a whole new world since then i have been really curious to learn more about astronomy and how as children we have been hearing the stories that would relate to astronomy we might have heard the story of dhruva the eldest child of a king who was hated by his stepmother once when he was 5 years old Dhruva was sitting on his father's lap right when his enraged stepmother walked in jealous of the fact that Dhruva would be heir to the throne and not her son she forcefully snatched away Dhruva from his father's lap but Dhruva was determined to seek for himself his rightful place and to hear his fate from the lord himself having been advised Dhruva started meditating going without food and water for 6 months pleased by his meditation Lord granted him wish and further decreed that he would attain the Dhruva Pada the state where he would become a celestial body which would not be touched by anything astronomically speaking the position of the Dhruva Tara or the pole star is fixed unlike the other stars it never rises and never sets the position of the Dhruva Tara or the pole star is fixed very close to the celestial pole and all the other stars appear to rotate around this star in the center this fixed and important position of the pole star is explained in this story with an artistic approach this fixed position of the pole star makes it the most important star to locate the northern direction but the pole star is very faint as compared to many other bright stars in the sky hence it becomes a bit difficult to find the pole star the simpler alternative to find the directions is to observe any celestial body the moon the sun or any star even if you are not aware of its name note the position of that star in the sky and repeat this observation after a couple of minutes you will observe that the position of star has changed 
and the direction towards which the star has shifted is the west. And once you know the west, you can get the other directions as well. There is no need to specifically search for the pole star. References of astronomy are not only made in Hindu mythology but also in Greek. A story that is very close to the pole star is about vain queen Cassiopeia in Greek mythology who claimed that she was more beautiful than the sea nymphs. This angered Poseidon, the god of the sea, who appointed monster Cetus to destroy the kingdom. As a sacrifice, Cassiopeia's daughter, Princess Andromeda, was held bound to a rock as a prey for the monster. But she was rescued by Perseus. Cassiopeia and Princess Andromeda were all elevated to the sky as stars, but Cassiopeia had to suffer the humiliation. She was forced to wheel around the North Celestial Pole on her throne, spending half of her time upside down, clinging to it as to not fall off. This story explains the positions of the constellations in the sky. Cassiopeia, Andromeda Perseus are the nearby constellations in the northern sky. As for the punishment of Cassiopeia, this constellation rotates around the pole star, but unlike the other constellations, it is very close to it. This constellation also helps the observers to locate the pole star in the sky. This constellation looks like alphabet M, which makes it easier for the observers to identify this constellation. And when we stretch a line joining two center stars in this constellation, it directly points towards the pole star. I began noticing that a lot of things that we do or say have an astronomical reasoning behind it. Many Hindu festivals are celebrated on a full moon day. Ever wondered why? Because only on the full moon day, the moon is visible in the sky throughout the night. Unlike other days, it is visible only for a couple of hours. Kojagiri Purnima or Sharat Purnima is a festival which is celebrated on the full moon day in the lunar month of Ashwin. This festival marks the end of the monsoon season and people celebrate under the moonlight after fasting for the day. The bright light of the full moon allows them to carry on the festivities throughout the night. In the lives that we live today, it's once in a blue moon opportunity that we get to socialize like that considering the pandemic. By the way, we might be using this phrase quite often, but the phenomenon on which it is based occurs once in a blue moon. To do something once in a blue moon is to do it very rarely. This phrase was derived from an astronomical observation. Let us understand what a blue moon is. Many people get confused. They understand the term blue moon as a day on which moon will appear blue or bluish. But that is not the case. We all know that there are 30 or 31 days in a solar calendar month. But the length of a synodic lunar month that is, from one full moon to the next, is 29 and a half days. And when two full moons occur in a single calendar month, the second full moon is called the blue moon. This phenomenon is rare. Because let us assume that full moon occurs on a third of a particular month. Then the next full moon will approximately occur on the second of the succeeding month. Hence, both these things need to be perfectly adjusted for the full moon to occur twice in the same calendar month. This makes blue moon a rare event. Just like this talk, my journey with astronomy began with music. My mother is a renowned Indian classical vocalist and was a part of a musical program called Suran Nabhanganache, a unique live sky observation program where organizers perform various songs about the celestial bodies. Slowly, when I started learning the scientific importance of this, I was able to comprehend these stories in a better way and that made me enjoy the subject even more. Considering how vast this universe is, there are many more things yet to be discovered and that unsolved mystery keeps me hooked. I have never limited astronomy to its scientific terminologies and as my knowledge about the subject increases, my curiosity grows along with the urge to find astronomical truth behind many such mythological stories, songs, literature forms and texts. Slowly, I started demystifying and propagating astronomy through my articles, books, research to make people aware of astronomy 
and its various applications in day-to-day -day life. However, these stories might have been depicted by a myth of facts, it doesn't take the brilliance away from it. This space is still out of this world.